Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here today. My name is Preston Hammock and I'm honored to serve as the President and Chief Operating Officer here at Alamance Regional Medical Center. And I just want to say thank you for spending some time today because this is truly an exciting day that represents step one on our journey to really enhance some of the care we provide here. So here at Alamance Regional, we pride ourselves on being a community hospital. And if you think about it, nothing epitomizes that notion of trying to plan for and meet the healthcare needs of this community than our emergency department services. So for the past several years, we've been endeavoring to try and enhance the care that we provide here. And today, as I said, is step one on that journey. What I'd like to say is, as a community provider, we're here in our emergency services for those unexpected needs when they occur. And I'd like to share just a few comments from some of our patients in the past month about some of these services. This was an extremely nerve-wracking experience for my wife and I, but the genuine care, concern, and professionalism was calming to all of us. I wanted to stop again and say thank you to my physician because he treated me with both kindness and outstanding clinical care. My nurse Andrea was so kind and compassionate, she made this whole ordeal bearable. Everyone was caring and efficient as my child was not only well cared for but also calmed while we were here. The staff went above and beyond in comforting my family and in my opinion acted with great courage and great dignity in this crisis. Honestly, it was one nice person after another. I'm truly amazed at the quality of care that you can provide. Those comments come straight from our patients and their families when they're in most need. And I'm excited because it represents just excellent staff that we have providing those services here in Burlington. This staff has had to offer that excellent clinical care in a space that unfortunately was not yet built to the demand that we had. In fact, last year we saw over 58,000 different visits in our emergency department in a space that was only built to see about 43,000, which really represents a significant effort from our staff to really see and meet the needs of our patients. Today represents that first step toward expanded capacity and also enhanced services with our emergency department and really is a culmination of effort from many different people and many different players both in this community and within this organization. So I want to take a minute and just thank some key folks that have really worked to make what you see behind me a reality today. First, I want to thank members of the Board of Directors of Alamance Regional Medical Center and the ongoing Community Advisory Board for seeing this need and understanding it was necessary and approving the financial resources towards this when raised by senior management. I also want to recognize Cone Health leadership, both board and management, for recognizing that continued need in this area and supporting it as we develop the services in conjunction with our merger. I also want to recognize community leaders, elected officials, law enforcement, county EMS, who have not only verbally supported this project, but also worked very hard through the processes and areas that we provide uh, in an effort to really enhance what we do here. And finally, I want to thank our building partners, KBR, Dewberry, Clark Patterson Lee, and the various subcontractors that have worked here. And I really want to highlight the efforts of Diane Aker and Bill Payne, our internal coordinators, because they truly fostered this notion of building partnership. It's that last group that's been here day and night, weekday, weekend, through more rain than I ever could have imagined when we started this project. And it really is impressive that what you see behind me just nine months ago only existed on paper. And they did that because they understood that this was a partnership, that this was really trying to meet a need that was going unmet in this community and worked hard to make this beautiful structure and all the things you'll see as you tour through this emergency department a reality in such a short period of time. As I mentioned, this space does represent step one. I've said that several times because we are beginning to work uh, over the next few months on what may even be a more important step as we reach our conclusion. So the space you'll see today, we move into later this week, and then we begin renovating our existing space over the next three months. So to all of, those who, all of you who I said thank you for your efforts over the past nine months, I'm also thanking you in advance for the efforts over the next three months that we will see. Because at the end of this year, what we will have is an emergency room that will be able to handle up to 70,000 visits each year. And it will position us not only to meet the need that's going on now in our community, but also what we see into the future. And doing that not just means new space, but also different elements and tactics to try to enhance that flow in that space. 
And I'm going to ask Dr. Jonathan Williams, our medical director of emergency services here, to stand and talk a little bit more about what this means to him and also some of that space as well. All right, welcome. Very excited to be here today to speak at the ribbon cutting ceremony. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I was born at the old Memorial Hospital. I was uh, raised here. I'm a Alamance County native, and uh, my permanent home is here in Alamance County. So I am personally and professionally invested in making this place a success. Um, this new emergency department is going to expand our treatment area from the, thir the current 30 beds to almost 60 treatment beds. This will include both larger treatment rooms, bigger trauma rooms, an observation unit, and an, a larger urgent care, also known as the flex care area. And while this does just represent the first step or first half of the renovation project, it's a sign of the beautiful things to come when it's fully completed in January 2014. It says in the book of Psalms that unless the Lord builds the house, the laborers build in vain. And uh, I really believe this, this emergency department was founded upon and built by God to better take care of the patients of this community. We put together the best group of healthcare practitioners and providers that I've been a part of. And we're on the front lines of healthcare every day, taking care of everything from major trauma, heart attacks, strokes, and everything in, in between, regardless of ability to pay. And it's my promise to you that we will take care of you and we'll continue to provide excellent emergency medical care for Alamance and its surrounding counties. Thank you. I'm going to invite Christina up to give the blessing. Let us pray. Holy God, creator and sustainer of all things, we thank you for your presence with us today. We thank you for all those who have envisioned this new part of the emergency department and who have labored to make it happen. We thank you for all the staff and all the patients. Lord, we ask that you would rain your blessings upon this place, that your spirit would be felt by every person that enters these walls, and that the care and healing that is already happening here at this hospital would only be enhanced and that your work would continue to be done and that we might see you revealed in each other. We thank you for your blessing, Lord. Amen. Thank you again. And as final uh, points of ceremony, I'd invite all hospital staff, project leaders, um, law enforcement, other community leaders, please join us up here for a ribbon cutting before we begin the tour.